Harvey Finch returns with some more tax collector. And here we are at Hanan Pacha. We're going to continue on our mission. And our mission currently is to go to Quarus. We are on the hunt for the Red Planet. So that's what we're going to do. A little side mission from our normal iron shell exploit so hit that like button hit that subscribe button use the link in the description for free cash.com my goodness the crashing or you can join the channel horse stellar mirror hello friends the ultralight orbital mirror array used to reflect and concentrate solar energy the stellar mirrors are common terraforming tool and the art of their use was brought to apogee by the Eurydani Utopia Terraforming Corporation during the Golden Age of the Domain's expansion phase. Great. Alright, so first thing we'll do is go to the con directory. We gotta talk to this guy, but let me see if there's anything else going on. Crispy uniformed officer who wants to talk to me? No. Trispad. Pre-collapse relics. Ooh. You have some domain tech, you say. An expedition, you say. Hmm. You have to give me money. You gotta tell me. $1,000 to find... No, no, no. I'll find it on my own one day. We're not looking for lost relics. We're looking for a red planet. You don't know anything about a red planet. Get out of here. Uh, the real question is... Do I just sell some stuff for, uh, for the cheap? Like a little bit of that? Sure. Give me some money. You have cheap dudes? You do. Ooh. It's actually handy. Alright. Ooh, Proton Autocannon. Hello. Large Ballistic. We don't have Large Ballistics on the Legion. It's, uh, it will get fixed up over time. And when we get some actual XP into this thing, we'll put some proper weapons on it. Good old quantum theory. You're gonna, you're gonna rock and roll for us. We also need to get another battleship. So, okay, let's talk to this guy. Hmm. Zico. Zico. Zivko? Martian? Looks you over. You look back. And even via the comms, looks like Zico has had higher quality repair work done than any spacer crew comrade. He also looks natural, so you know the story, he says. And aside, and says aside, if only that old crust of a spacer would keep their mouth shut. Still, it's no sweat off my back. Where you go finding trouble and you wouldn't be the first who's come sniffing after me, I'll warn you that for free. How much is the location of this planet worth to you? Barter a price. You haggle with him over price, making the point that there is allegedly some hostile force at this red planet. And further, he has already sold the information to someone else. Yes, yes, he says. But I know you space captains. You just love a mystery. You'll never let it lie like we should have. Eventually, you work out the figure of 18,000 for the pilot's information. I will pay you 18,000, mainly because we got 18,000 from the Galatia Academy for finding that thing that one time. So this this works out. This is like a full circle, okay? All right, so we have explore the red planet that might find us something. Uh your gas. Don't give me those. I think I bought gas for like super high price just now. Great. All right, let's get out of here. Rum, rum, baby. You leave me alone, sir. Beat bounty over. Yep. So this is a very interesting mission that uh, that we had, and um, I should have looked to see where the red planet would be lies. Where are you at, red planet? Oh, thank goodness it's not out there. It's out here? There's... 
Wait a second, what's going on? <laughs> it's just, there's no planets. Um, uh, there's nothing here. It's like a dead section in space. Um, explore the planet. I mean, maybe we have to get out there to see if there's stars. Okay, let's just jump through the gate. We'll uh, we'll pop over there after we get some gas. First things first, let's pick up this pilot that we've left in the academy for so long. Just left him there. Keep learning, sir. Okay, visit the academy proper. Retrieve my officer. Thank you. Officer training. Do we have anybody that's timid or whatever? I thought we did. I guess I had a cautious one. It's fine. Retrieve the administrator. Yeah. Uh, administrator skill training. Get better. Okay. And then research tracks. I only have these two. Project Transistor and Project Spyglass, so... I mean... That's that's a lot. It's 500 for Spyglass. Oh boy. So how about... I do... Did I do Spyglass? I might have. I think it's 500. Sure, let's do it. Redeem! We got a bunch of mod specs. Forge templates. Yeah, we got some good stuff. Okay, and then we'll do... I think this is 80. Do one of these. Tech locator. Yeah, this is regular gear. Okay, we'll pop out of there. So, I just got the Fervor Protocol. All damage dealt increased 30%. Full bonus damage and below at 500 range. Uh, no bonus damage above 700. Increases all damage taken by 25%. My goodness, that's huge. Um, copper has overhaul average since it allows the ship to better weather repeated stress. Increasing number of deployments the ship can undertake before requiring recovery time reduces the combat readiness cost per deployment. And recovery by 50%. The per day consumption for CR recovery is reduced to account for slower recovery rate, but increasing the maximum number of deployments a ship can undertake before recovery will also increase the maximum cost of recovery proportionality. The total supply cost per deployment remains the same. Also, most secondary CR costs by 50%. No net change in supply cost. Interesting. So there's a... There's a battleship. Combat freighter. Yep. There's a thunder that I already know. A tech locator and some other stuff. Um, this hegemony station. Are you going to... Give me... Oh, the erratic fuel injector on the components. Nightmare just got fixed. So that's nice. Uh, I need your gas, please. Who will buy this garbage? Staging Point Eclipse will buy it. Inverted Castle will buy this. Well, I don't really like that at all. I'd rather go to Staging Point Eclipse, to be honest. Colin has the cheapest supplies. Okay, let's um, see. Staging point, that's forward base. That's staging point. But then I can't jump out here. So how about I just go to Fortuna? I know it's um, we're on personal mission time. We're now hostile to DA anyway. So actually we'll go to Inverter Castle. Yeah, DA wants to kill us, so that's great. Wonderful. <laughs> we keep going to war with those guys. These guys are fine. Living life one day at a time. 
Okay, a little black market, all right. And I'll just dump, I mean, that's not gonna be worth much, but it's fine. You're worth a bit. And sure, dump some of these guns as well. And don't dump any of these. Actually that and that we can dump and that we can dump. We don't need those. This stuff is what we need. 300,000 bucks, which we require. Um, fuel's not worth much. Getting these might be worth, might be worth. You know what? I think it is worth just getting more crew comes in handy when things get rough. Rackish man, slugger. Okay, we'll go here. You don't know who we are. You're not pursuing me, are you? Yes, you are. You see nothing. You see nothing. I have to get more stuff. So where can we get more stuff? Yamada's not a good place. Jutamatsak's got some. So we can go to these bases. They'll have some. They won't have enough for us, that's for sure. Cobbs. Uh, Bacal. Can I meet you? It's unavailable. Of course he is. Well, give me some of this. I might need more. I'm gonna need, I don't know, 200 days worth or so. Stuff's cheap. Yeah, okay. That should be enough. I don't have enough fuel. So if I go to Quattle, will you have enough fuel? Quattle probably won't have enough fuel, but that's okay. I think we can explore our way to it. Okay, we're gonna jump to here. It's a thousand fuel to get out there. Exit is down here, so we'll head all, on over. Clockwork Ghost got its engines repaired. Thank you very much for your engines being repaired. And now we'll head on down this thing. Don't run away. Pirate Armada laying in wait. Well, guess what? Looks like we're going to move engagement. You are going in. Um. I kind of need you to go in, but I want you to follow him. Yeah. Send in these guys. We'll send in these guys. Send in these guys for speed. And sure, that I can be. That can be the group. You guys can do this. I believe in you. One battleship in a dream. This is all our pilots. And a lot of them are the proper proper portraits, the iron shell portrait pilots, which is nice. Okay. Engagement here. Light them up. Light them up. No, you actually have to hit them. There you go. There you go. Turn his engines off. I'm talking about. Oh, another one. Another engagement. Oh, you're getting crushed by that fighter. And why do I feel like some of you are going to have a hard time? Thank you. You're in a weird spot. Okay, we're gonna let this one go so no one gets into a bad spot. We'll fight along these lines. I believe he will win this fight. And then once our mighty quantum theory shows up, we're gonna see how much damage the sucker can actually do with a proper pilot. This is the first real battle that you got. Yeah. Fire that PD. Shoot those lasers. Oh, 
Mr. Perry. I saw that. Your shields went red. Okay, don't go in front of him. I want to see his guns go rat tat 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 tat. Just lasers going everywhere. Space superiority, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. That burn drive going, and then you'll be in the right spot, maybe. Shoot this guy. PD is just going. Why? Why are they going after him like this? How dare they? I mean, he's not doing much. Are they trying to surround us? They kind of are. And I'm not seeing a lot of kills happening. Which makes me sad. Although we did take this. Oh, oh, oh. There's some heat. There's some heat. Yeah. You are taking damage. There's the burn drive. That's going to net a kill. Come on. Yeah, shoot the cool guns. I did not notice a kill. They have too much PD. It's causing us problems. Oh, oh, we got a kill over here. Yes, we certainly do. Finally. This poor sod. Oh, he just ate it. How is this guy holding on by himself? I guess the railguns are knocking shields out. Why are you turning? Why are you turning? Oh, because of this guy. Okay. That's a reap. You can knock his engines. You'll be a hero. You can't. So, you're not a hero. Um, I do see this ship. Looks like it's going to die. Boom. Ooh, five ships just died all in one, like, vicious go. Or maybe I just didn't realize. I don't know. <laughs> it's been the Legion doing work now. Okay, we no longer need to hold this. Forward hull. And you are attacking here, but you're not doing a great job. You guys are holding this one, which they're trying to attack. Yeah, I'd like to see... You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. You are, you are rocking really, really close to the line here, sir. Okay, this guy's cooked. He's cooked. Base superiority fighters flying all over them. It's great. And now you can go up to this guy. It's only a matter of time. Just a question of when. Oh, assault. Let's go, boys. Another one. You can get this last guy. You can. You're already taking him out. Give the assistant of a big old gunship. Two gunships. Look at this thing go. That's what I like to see. No idea how much damage these rail guns are doing. Boom. That's right. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. So how did the Legion do? Quantum Theory, 1200. Pretty darn good. A couple more fleet engagements like that. Now the reason why not adding extra ships into that particular engagement was a good thing, because we wanted more XP to go onto the ships that were deployed. And it actually worked out. Um, our Legion got 1285. 
It's fantastic. If I had more ships, it, this amount of XP would be split to more guys. So that, that was my thinking. That's why we did it. They're all gone. Thanks for your stuff, guys. Let me just head on down to, I don't know, here somewhere. Yeah, go go there. Just slip on through here. I explored this place. Yes, I haven't explored this one, so we will. Turn this off. Hit the button. Just, uh, we got time, so we may as well. Gained a story point. Building back. Get a colony size 5. Oh. Hey. An Apache, you got the size 5. Now what do I do with it? <laughs> Just, I, I don't know. Um, give it a... Well, I tried to give it a research facility. That didn't work. Could just give it smelting and get a little bit of material, I guess. Tech mining, we're too far gone. You know what? I'll just run. Sure, we'll run a smelter. Yep, we'll do that. Um, did that work? It did. Magnetic field scanned. And we actually leveled. C stands for level. Mm. This is command points. This makes the non-good ships better. This makes my ship better. Target analysis makes you just crush everything. Damage control. Repairs the ship faster. Less damage taken. That's that's actually really good. <laughs> this is less damage taken. This will increase our some of our damage. This will increase all of our damage. Cruises and capital ships will get a beating. Um well, transports useful, carrier group is useful. I'll take systems expertise. No, I'll take target analysis. The elite version. Make our ship better. Alright. Running over and seeing what kind of goodies we can find. None. None is the answer. Yeah, none is the answer. Alright. Let's pack up. Oh. Cerberus is under attack. They're gonna take it. Wow, okay. Interesting. Yeah, they're just going in. Okay, I should have ran all the way over here. Now we have to fly there. Like a chump. Yeah, they captured that so fast. Alright. I don't want to establish a colony here. I do, in fact, want to fight the Enigma Swarm. Here's why. They have special guns. I want their special guns. Get them, boys. We'll just capture this one and see what happens. Uh, they got us beat on weapon range. No, we have them beat. They got us down by four. We got them down by six. That's fine. We take this, and if they come down here, we'll take it even more. Alright, listen. They're shooting all the missiles, so we know they got the fancy missiles. Shield drones doing what shield drones do. We got fancy guys. We got some Zyphos in the house to knock them out. 
just going oh boy you can you can probably beat that guy the question is how to beat these dudes I think the cruisers will do it just be fancy missiles yeah we got them penned in pretty nicely I'm I mean if I run like five eagles that would be a pretty insane group. Eight eagles would be big and strong like the uh, Pagsum fleet. I'm pretty sure because they just have some, they bring some heat. Downside is they don't have the, they don't have the requisite PD. They have none actually. That's pretty hot. Yeah, I got him, boys. We've not killed any of these ships yet. We're too even here. We need XP, so that's why you're in this fight. Ooh, we actually almost got that guy. This one just took tons of damage. He's about to blow up. I think. Maybe not. I don't, don't know what's going on. You're having an epic battle. With the gunship shield drone guys. I mean, we're not doing a lot of damage to shields with this build. The whole point is when you break through the shields though, Oh. Okay. I think he's gonna. I think he's gonna do it right here. This will be the one. You shot too late, sir. You have gunnery implants. I'm fairly certain. Oh man. Okay. You do have some PD. You have these tiny little lasers. Yeah, shoot your actual guns at him. There you go. That's what I like to see. Did... did he win? Think so? I'm actually not sure. Um. Oh. We're actually, I think we lost two ships. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. No, we lost one ship. Where did he go? I'm pretty sure... Oh, no, you're here. Okay, so you won your fight. And now we lost one over here somewhere. Somehow. We managed to lose one. This thing has no health left. I'm not sure why I'm not sending in a couple other ships to deal with this mess. I just... I want to know if they can do it. Kill this guy better. Kill this guy better. I don't care about this. Kill this guy better. Just shoot your guns at him. Yeah, that's what I want to see. No, you get on this guy. Yeah, fire all the guns at him. Ignore his friends. Kill this guy. Turn. Turn, turn, turn. Don't let him shoot the shotgun into you, it hurts. Yeah, it's gonna hurt after. Got him. Get him. 
He's got standard assault shade guns. And you actually have to get your bullets into his face. There you go. Yeah, get him to fire missiles. Firing, firing gun is nice. Do so more. Oh, overdrive. Just back away from him. Everybody just showed up. There we go. There we go. Yeah, Atropos. Finally. <laughs> oh man, that was a long fight. <laughs> Uh, cannot believe this guy died. That was sad. Didn't get any cool weapons. I got one spike MRT. That's not exactly great. Fine. Two people level level up. Level level me up. Yeah, two people leveled up. So let's level them up. Where are they? Oh, do we have we have another guy, right? You, you. Congratulations. Yes, field modulation. Thank goodness. You did not get field modulation. Oh yes, you did. You have gunnery implants and ordnance. So we're going to give you target analysis to give you that damage. You already have target analysis. So... Oh, you're level 6 because of Iron Heritage. Interesting. Um, You are going to have what? Damage control... I think you need systems expertise so you can jump around more. I think they'll be good for you. Ordnance, yep. Even for some of these ships that have really good ordnance, it's still a good choice. I'm going to give you target analysis. Yep. Okay, let me get to where the red planet is and see if we can. And that we've already surveyed you. Pretty much nothing out here. Except for this guy. You'll have to follow me, sir. You can follow me to wherever the red planet is. I'm not sure where it is. Oh. This is a stall state power system. It's just an autonomous warning beacon. Why do these look like they have ships on them? I'm going to save. I'm scared. <laughs> Some, something ain't, ain't right here. Um, I didn't even know this was a... Uh, yeah, I didn't know this was a thing, so let's jump in. What are these ships? I don't recognize those. Vestige Formation. Um, We're going to end up fighting some crazy spaceships, aren't you? You're pursuing us. What is a Vestige Formation? I have no idea. It's probably like an automated ship. Oh, there's tons of them. Oh, there's tons of them. Oh my goodness. Uh. Yep. There's lots. I think I might have to fight them in the next episode. Red plants this way. 
How's the fleet looking? Fleet's looking great. Let's fight the Red Planet fleet. All right, Red Planet, what's going on? Sensors are having a hard time evaluating the tenuous megastructure available in the entire surface. Your sensors officer takes the initiative and applies some exotic parameters to the interferometer feed. Inputs go green, and a few seconds later, the sub AI tentatively identifies a stable planetary scale energy field with highly unusual properties. Who is here? An Ordo fleet. I will engage you. I feel like, I feel like doing this quickly, so I believe that will be enough. Let's go. I just want our Legion to get some XP. Look at that fleet in there, playing in the background. You'll never beat me. I have target analysis. More damage. More damage. More damage. He doesn't even stand a chance. See you later, nerd. Next. Uh, you've chosen poorly. Next. Okay. I'll call that a win. Pick through the wreckage. Okay, standard fare. All right. Further scans reveal that the energy field is not entirely uniform, perhaps owing to a running down power source, and your bridge crew is able to pick a distress beacon transmitting from the surface. Transmission is set on repeat and garbled in ways that are indicative of aging equipment. You make out enough to gather that part of the research team was stranded here at a secret Chitachion research facility after the automated defenses over weighed certain executive security contingency orders in the wake of one of the AI wars and decided it was now imperative to shoot down any craft attempting to leave the planet. Set them down. Tiny shuttle with a jerry rigged shield generator darts through a spot failure in the shield. A landing at a primary control center is achieved without incident and the crew is able to deactivate the shield entirely upon breaching the facility. Follow up shuttles with heavy equipment, launch quickly thereafter, and soon the salvage operations in full swing. Pick through the salvage. What we get? A battleship. Dynast Spear. And Planetary Shield Blueprint worth $1.1 million. That's some serious money. Now we can survey the planet. It's a desert world. Not the lush world we were looking for, but it is something. And what are these vestige formations? Well, I don't know if I want to fight like a hundred of them. Run away? There's a research station here too. How crazy is this? Alright, well, I'm not going to fight them in this episode. We'll do it in the next one. Some mud skipper. Okay. Yeah, because I, I need to go. So I'll see you next time, and we'll fight these vestiges. I don't know what they are. never seen them before. I don't even know what mod they're from. <laughs> see you next time.